employee at the Cinnabon who talked about hearing 15 to 20 shots. She says she was just wide out in the open uh, trying to stock the shelves. And so she and all the other employees just dropped to the ground immediately. Just a terrifying scene. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Um, this story that you're going to hear is going to be very disturbing. Let's go ahead and watch this clip and I'll be right rifle, back. Is that correct? Uh, there are reports he had a firearm and uh, I mean there's been a lot of reports, a lot of conflicting information. That's normal for this type of situation. So until I see it personally or get that verified, I can't confirm what the weapon Where was. Start exactly. Is the shooter still alive? Uh, the shooter's been neutralized. Can you walk us through at least the basics of how this began, what people saw and where he went? So, the, of course, when these things happen, the initial call, lots of calls, lots of witnesses through 911. Uh, so we respond immediately to the scene, several officers close by, lots of conflicting information about location, number of people, and that type of stuff. We do our best to work through that, respond to uh, what the witness reports say, what we hear and what we see, and uh, move as fast as we can to address and stop the situation. So the first officers ran in to try and find him? Yes. Do you know whether he was methodical about this? Was he firing wi wildly? I don't have any of those details yet. I imagine that as the investigation continues and we can view video surveillance and that kind of stuff, we will get those answers. But as it stands you now, that's downstairs and you heard shooting upstairs. Can you walk me through it again, please? Yeah, so um, I work downstairs in Kathy Jean and um, we heard a couple of big bangs and we thought that maybe it was just something falling from the top story down to the bottom. Everybody was looking in that direction toward the food court trying to see what was going on and um, all of a sudden we heard six or seven more shots and realized at that point that it was a gun and everybody just, their faces just went into panic and started running and screaming so um, grabbed my co-worker and we ran out the back, the back doors and um, it was a feeling that I can't even explain. Um, we ended up going into Kitchen Caboodle and um, we're on lockdown in there for about an hour and a half until right now. And the people in Kitchen Caboodle didn't even know anything had happened, right? No, at the, when we ran in there they had no idea what was going on yet. Um, that's when everybody just started running out the mall. So when we got in there we let them know what was going on. They locked down the doors, everybody went to the back of the store. And we were talking that you could only hear things, and that made you feel even more uneasy because you don't know yeah. what's going on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Even now, I still, I mean, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they've caught this guy. I have heard that, um, you know, some people have been shot in there and possibly some deaths, and it's just, it's awful. It's awful to think that somebody would come in here and do that. You were telling me that the mall wasn't wasn't really busy today, right? No, yeah, it, it's a Tuesday, so it, it's not like a weekend when we're just constant busy. It wasn't even steady, it was pretty slow, so thank God for that. So now you have to wait your cars, you can't get to your car. And... Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to my car anytime soon. They said it's going to be hours before they're letting anybody in the area, so. Violet, thank you. Yeah. It, the shock settles in later when people are let go. For example, uh, the, the man we talked with who was holed up inside a store there, he was so concerned for his safety and the safety of his customers, he didn't want to tell us which store. Totally understandable. understandable. Very calm, describing what he heard, what he saw, the bodies, the sheets they had to put over those victims. And uh, the, uh, the, but the shock probably hadn't set in for that person just yet. Yeah, he was trying to be pretty quiet. You could tell on the phone, too. Um, it's it's a chilling situation. So you can't sit here and tell me all those damn cameras in that mall ain't nobody sitting at the control room seeing a man come up in the mall with a bulletproof vest on holding a shotgun. Oh, hell no. See, the mall should be responsible for all of that. You see, America, we live in a society right now where people just have the I don't give a f attitude. And that attitude that people are having it's destroying the beauty of our country. Let me tell you right now, I go in the bank. Sir, take off your hat, take off your glasses, and we need to see your face. Can you shave all of this? 
just to make a deposit. Security guy sitting there open the door for you. You leave it. He open the door for you. They make sure you don't have nothing. But all these mall securities want to ride around their little subway. Ooh, so it look like to me it's a special. Yeah, want to harass you. And shit. But when people up in the mall, you know what I'm saying, shooting people, nowhere to be found. I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe because you, big like you did. I love you all. Peace.